be uh, told uh, to anybody. So uh, that's that's really unfortunate. But because of such awareness programs, awareness is the key. That is what I believe in. And I'm very grateful to CDAC and ISCA for always supporting the Cyber Safe Girl initiative, which has, uh, especially the Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, which has been the, uh, uh, the pet project of our Honorable Prime Minister, and this project being uh, Beti Bachao Cyber Crime Safe. And the version 4 last year, we saw more than 2 crore downloads of the book. And this year, the version 5, maybe this month or the next month, we're going to release it. And uh, we are expecting to touch 5 crore people. Anyways, now having said that, uh, let's start uh, with uh, today's exciting uh, um, webinar on social media crimes. I'm just going to share the PPT. Yes, and uh, is my screen uh, yes, visible sir. to all of you? Yeah, it is visible, sir. Uh, yeah, it is visible, sir. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. So before I start with today's uh, webinar, I would uh, uh, inform that I'm not a lawyer, not giving any legal advice. Um, seek the permission of your CISO or the head before you do something. Follow the organization policies and in fact, don't do anything ever. Now, uh, in the comment section, I would like to see uh, how many of you are on social media. Uh, please put I am. I, I would like to see the comment section here. Just put I am uh, in the comment section. All right, so I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people uh, on social media. Good. Uh, is is there uh, anybody who is facing this problem? I am facing this problem. The problem, it's called as phantom vibration. Uh, sorry, phantom ringing syndrome. Okay, it's called phantom vibration syndrome and some of them call it as phantom ringing syndrome. Let me tell you what exactly is it. Uh, you have a phone. Okay, you keep that phone in your pocket and suddenly you feel the phone is vibrating or suddenly you feel it is ringing you've got a notification and uh, you take your phone out and when you see your phone no notification no calls nothing how many of you are facing this issue please put i do i do in the comment section because i am i am having this problem okay i'm, I'm seeing a lot of people yeah sometimes okay good good some of them i don't oh nice nice you're you're not having this problem so the problem is called phantom vibration or phantom ringing syndrome where you feel this uh, vibration or you feel the ringing happening uh, when you keep your phone inside your pockets and uh, when you take it out there is nothing so that level of psychotic problems we are currently going through isn't it so because uh, your brain is giving you signals of the physical world which are not there see actually there is no vibration there is no ringtone, nothing, but your brain is giving you, uh, stimulating those signals, uh, which is quite dangerous. So this is the era that we are in. Now, on a minute, uh, what happens over the internet? This is of 2020, but the last year, because 2022, I cannot give it right now because we still have a few months to go. See, we are having, in one minute, 28,000 people watching Netflix, 6,95,000 stories on Instagram. A lot of connections, around 10,000 connections on LinkedIn, 69 million messages sent every minute on WhatsApp and uh, Messenger, around 500 hours of content being uploaded on Tinder. A lot of people are there on Tinder because they want to meet uh, uh, some uh, people to date with. So 2 million swipes because you swipe left and right. If you like the person, you know, you know what to do. So 2 million swipes on Tinder and what not you can just see what a world that we are living in wherein every minute there is 60 seconds so many things are happening 5000 downloads on uh, tiktok also okay now we have all heard this uh, statement where a lot of people especially the millionaires and the billionaires they do they they say your net work is your net worth i thoroughly believe this okay your net work is your net worth 
because you know, for example uh, if you know the uh, ceo of a company or if you know the commissioner of uh, police of your uh, city or if you know uh, somebody the uh, mla or the minister if you know these people uh, what happens is your life gets a little better it gets a little more comfortable because uh, you can get certain things done faster easier isn't it so so uh, for example you have an account in the bank and you know the agm or you know the dgm so automatically the service that you get or uh, the privileges that you may get i don't say every time but few times or most of the times you may experience this so your network is obviously your uh, network and when we talk about uh, uh, networks look at uh, um, look, just a second yeah so you can uh, you can there's, there's a power outage but that's okay uh, the screen is working and uh, everything is fine uh, so uh, there is a lot of rains here I, I request all of you to pray because i think you've been seeing uh, uh, what's happening in bangalore and what's happening around in karnataka a lot of rains so a lot of power outages but nevertheless uh, i'm i'm on uh, online anyway so basically what's happening is when it comes to uh, uh, the number of uh, social media uh, you can see facebook you can see youtube you can see the total number of active users in millions okay so a lot of people uh, so that's about 2.8 billion users okay uh, you can see them on facebook the world population is about 7 billion 7.4 or 7.5 and you can see around 2.8 people active monthly uh, billion users on uh, facebook on youtube on whatsapp so which means nearly half of the world is online isn't it so half of the world we can we can see them online so they are on social media there so what is the social networking now this is the definition that i'll have to give the practice of using social networks to form connections so you are using social networks to build connections now this is the best example already uh, I'm, I'm seeing so many participants here so i'm, I'm seeing about uh, uh, how many participants five panelists and 233 participants i'm connecting with all of you so this is networking social networking that we are seeing here now when we talk about social networks most of us believe that it is facebook whatsapp twitter and uh, instagram okay you're not wrong but then let me break it down into a much uh, um, easier way of understanding what are the different types of social networks okay so the first one is social network. Now, what is the social network? We are talking about Facebook. We are talking about uh, earlier Orkut was there. So this is a generic term, social network, where you get almost everything. Now, along with this, there are certain specific social networks also. For example, professional networks. You must be on LinkedIn. So this is a professional network. Then you also have um, something to do with the media sharing network. So this is like Instagram, where you share only photos and uh, videos. Then you have discussion forums. Now, for example, if you love uh, uh, cars, there is a very beautiful forum called Team BHP. Now, uh, is there anybody here uh, who regularly uh, watches Team BHP? If yes, put uh, in the comment section, uh, I do. So that I would like to know how many of you are on uh, Team BHP. So there is Team BHP. Uh, okay, so Gauravji is uh, uh, Duchi, Lauren. So a lot of them on Team BHP, discussion uh, forums. Then there is bookmarking. Now, for example, we, we see so many things on the internet and we want to uh, store something for later use or send it to a friend. So you can bookmark. So Pinterest is there. A lot of uh, sites are there. Then you also have uh, consumer reviews like Yelp and all that, where uh, for any product you can write reviews so that people, uh, before they buy something, they go through the reviews and they buy. Then you have uh, blogging. So a lot of blogging sites like WordPress and all that, where you can uh, post uh, photos, you can write your own stories, or you can write about something. So blogging is there. Then you have the messaging apps like WhatsApp, Messenger, uh, WeChat. So these are the messaging apps. And then you have this new type of social audio platforms like Clubhouse. I'm, I'm very proud to say that one of the world records was uh, uh, happened in the Clubhouse uh, where I was a speaker, uh, where uh, the Clubhouse, uh, the, the, the room was called as a Vishwavani Clubhouse, where we had more than 10,000 people uh, who had come and the, the, the room was getting crashed. And uh, so it's exclusively for audio so you can just talk and the people listen so more of a podcast so social audio platforms now 
apart from this now i've spoken about the different types of social uh, uh, media networks there are a lot of crimes also that happen now for example cyber stalking somebody may follow you online they may see all the activities that you're doing online for example the other day i was just going and somebody meets me and they're like uh, sir i saw your uh, photo where you had visited the ganesh utsav uh, uh, i was like okay my god uh, how come so that is how it is and then uh, uh, there is something called as picture video morphing now uh, we all we put photos uh, every now and then and then somebody may just take them and they may morph them and then you also have uh, profile hacking because uh, uh, this is very common either they may hack your profile or they may create a fake profile and then you also have uh, um, fake uh, uh, profile cyber grooming this is Uh, especially uh, when kids are on right because earlier you should never give phones or digital devices to the kids uh, now because of uh, covid all the classes are online all the children are having these tabs and uh, mobile phones to attend online classes and we have seen many scenarios wherein a lot of people uh, especially the pedophiles who, who attack these children they create rosy profiles and they connect with these children and they tell fake stories telling that uh, they are their father's friend or mother's classmate and win their trust uh, so and, and then this is how they are exploited later on so we call this as a cyber grooming then we have online radicalization people with the different ideologies they use social media to brainwash innocent people so that they can um, get the work executed by these innocent ones then you have fake reviews lot of products uh, fake people now there are companies uh, where you can just pay them uh, and they will write reviews fake reviews they would have not bought your services not bought your products not uh, done anything but still they will write reviews as if they are your loyal customers and this is how a lot of uh, prospective buyers they get uh, tricked then you have the honey trap wherein somebody comes on face, social media uh, sends you a friend request uh, asks you for a video call and then records your uh, video call and then they start blackmailing you okay this is uh, very common Uh, these days and a lot of officers a lot of officers have also fallen politicians have fallen prey to this type of honey trap and sex torture then you have doxing where your uh, private information is made public so they uh, write your numbers they share your photos uh, and all your private in your aadhar card details and all this you know they they post it uh, on different forums or different blogs so that you get random requests and random calls from a lot of people and then you have the ideal homograph attack where similar looking uh, websites like uh, facebook or youtube any of these they, the website looks very similar you click on them actually they are malicious websites so these are some of the crimes that happen on social media now you may ask what about the laws aren't there any laws of course there are laws now for example if somebody uses your password then as per 66c uh, the person gets 3 years imprisonment or 1 lakh rupees fine or both or what if uh, see we, we are seeing this uh, happening very commonly especially when uh, two people are in a relationship say a boy and a girl uh, they share their photos they share their videos they click photos together uh, private uh, Uh, images and then uh, after breakup either the boy or the girl uh, if they are unable to handle the breakup what they do is they just uh, share these photos on various platforms they create fake profiles and upload these photos we call these fake profiles as sock puppet uh, profiles so this is how they do now remember as per 66e publishing private images of somebody 3 years imprisonment 2 lakh rupees fine or both or if the um, image is obscene or if it has um, uh, some uh, certain obscene acts then up to 7 years imprisonment 10 lakh rupees fine uh, or both and uh, see you can, you can just see this one page now you may ask uh, how can i write this down don't have to write it down i have already shared this uh, uh, ppt with uh, uh, jagdish ji so all the participants would be getting a copy of it so you don't have to uh, store anything you don't have to write down anything for now uh, just wait and you can uh, start it later on okay you can just go through the ppt later on the next one now uh, if you can go to this website uh, which is uh, uh, threatmap.checkpoint.com i repeat it's called threatmap. 
checkpoint.com you will be shocked to see a lot of cyber attacks are happening day and night every single second you can see how the attacks are happening and it is surprising to see a lot of attacks are happening on india now why is it happening on india because india is progressing if you have seen post covid a lot of the world's major economies have uh, collapsed but when it comes to india we have we are doing really well and because of this a lot of these cyber armies of different countries are attacking india also we are seeing a lot of wealth creation in india so that is why a lot of uh, cyber criminals look at this as uh, these uh, uh, flowers with lot of uh, nectar in it so that is why india is becoming a soft target so we have to be very careful because you may be the next target also uh, on dark web we are seeing this new service because uh, as you are from the electronics and it ministry you know that we have platform as a service software as a service infrastructure as a service so this is how uh, in this gig economy we have been seeing but now we are seeing a new type of a service which is called a cyber crime as a service where cyber criminals have a menu card just like how you go to a hotel and you get a menu card you can order whatever you want similarly these cyber criminals have a menu card where if you want to hack somebody's personal computer you can pay in bitcoins or dollars or you can hack somebody's cell phone you can hack somebody's social media accounts you can hack Uh, also the, you can change the school grades if you have not uh, done well in the school probably they will even uh, hack into the servers of your school uh, and then they will change the grades also you can also put uh, ransomware on somebody system so you never know uh, how many enemies you have so if there is somebody who uh, contacts these people and tries to um, do some damage on you you have to be very cautious because unless and until you take all the precautions it becomes very easy for these cyber criminals to hack into your networks because right now we are uh, living not in the binary stage we are living in a new stage which is called as a quantum computing so you can see along with quantum computing there is ai there is machine learning there is deep learning and you can see can anybody tell me who is this person that you are seeing and what is he standing next to can anyone tell me who is this person and what is he standing next to yeah he is sp he is a, a sundar pichai right but what is he standing next to yeah he is a google ceo absolutely and it's a proud uh, moment for all of us because an indian who studied in the iit uh, he is heading the world's largest uh, one of the world's largest it companies that is google <coughs> absolutely so asima mishra has rightly said also amarjeet ji has rightly said it is a quantum computer even abhishek ji right it's a quantum computer and this is what he is standing next to a quantum computer does not compute like traditional computers which thinks only in binary that is zeros and ones but in quantum computer you have something called as a qubit where it is zero one and zero and one at the same time so different states are there okay and the computer that uh, you are seeing over there is 100 million times faster than any of the regular computers that you see because that is how much data it can process so this is the world that we are living in and also uh, you can see in one image a lot of smart devices you can see a smart speaker you can see that smart robe for cleaning you can see the smart lamp and you can see a lot of smart devices in one single image and the number of iot internet of things the uh, the number of devices are increasing exponentially and we are going to have a lot of such devices and also because we are having a lot of devices now right now over here i am sitting with a, a laptop there is my monitor laptop also right next to me that is in case if this laptop fails i have one more laptop with a parallel internet connection and then i have my mobile phone there's one more mobile phone so you can just see a lot of devices i am there and i can access the social media on any of these devices now on social media a new breed of people have started uh, coming we call them as the influencers now what do these influencers number one they post content number two people follow them number one, substantial number of followers a lot of brands they come and approach them and what they do is they start giving them money they give them products to advertise and this take a lot of money so you must have a lot of stories reels on 
social media where these people endorse products. Don't think they're doing it for free. Not at all. They earn a lot of money. Two ways they're earning money. One, directly from the brand. Number two, because of the advertisement that comes when their uh, video gets um, played. See, now this is this is a very important picture. Where earlier, we used to use telephone booth for making calls. But right now, your commode has become a telephone booth. Anybody here? How many of you, uh, you have this uh, uh, habit of uh, taking your cell phone to the um, bathroom? Please put I do. I, I would like to see how many of you are there taking cell phone to the bathroom. Nobody? Oh, I do. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. Okay, some people do. So uh, just a second. This uh, monitor is okay. There's some gray patch. Okay. Anyways, so now we we take our uh, first bathroom, and uh, you know that whenever you're watching a YouTube video, you will be seeing a video which you're going to watch. And but before the video, there's an ad. And whenever the ad comes, you will be seeing a skip ad option. Either you watch the ad or you skip the ad. Just to give you a simple, uh, is my voice breaking? Um, yeah, uh, sometimes it is breaking, sir. You please check it. And uh, that is one thing. And second thing, if you don't mind, can you please close that uh, small window which is appearing, sir, like the participants window kind of thing? So that we can see. Participants window, yeah. I, 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 just give me a second. Can, shall I re-lock in once? No, no, I think you can just go ahead, sir. Uh, now everything is fine. Only that uh, is appearing. Sometimes if you can able to... Uh, just, just a second. Just a second. Yeah, yeah. I think you can share the screen once again, sir. Yeah, I'll share it once. Is it okay now? Yeah, Am now I it is perfect, sir. Now it is perfect. Now it is everything is perfect. perfect. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, as I said, uh, you will be seeing uh, the ad. And uh, just to give you an example, uh, if uh, somebody has uploaded a content and if uh, you watch the ad, the person gets, say, five paisa. And if you don't watch the ad, if you click the ad, just give you an example. And if you ask me how much money do these content creators earn, there is this boy who was just seven years old and he has this uh, uh, um, channel on YouTube which is called as Rafa. And he's already 22 million plays with a toy and he's got millions of followers. Okay. So that's the uh, of God. There are about 50 million content creators right now, and most of them are on um, Instagram. And you can just see how much money do these people earn because that, that is one thing that we are very interested in. So, and if you're having about 1,000 to 10,000 followers, you can very easily earn about $400. Followers are over one million. But I people are earning about four to five lakh rupees per month who are right here, uh, uh, very close to the city that I'm living in. So uh, it all depends upon how much money that uh, you are uh, earning. It all depends upon the followers. Okay. Is, is there a voice issue? Uh, maybe, sir, like if you can uh, uh, close the video for some time, I think that will be better, sir. I think there is sometimes the voice is, you know, uh, you know, breaking. Just a second. I'll change my network. One second. Yeah, yeah, we were taking, sir. We had, uh, sorry, checking, sir. Please wait. How about now? I'm on a newer network. Is it clear and is it... Uh... Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. It is clear. Thank you. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, Jay Geo. So, I'm, I'm not branding Geo as such, but from <laughs> Airtel, I've come to Geo now. Okay. Parents. So, everybody is saying clear. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. Now, uh, look at this. So, basically, what's happening is uh, you're earning a lot of money on social media, a lot of money. And uh, no matter how much money you have, say, for example, you are having uh, a 50,000 rupee salary, you want 75,000. 
if you have 75,000, you want one lakh. So we want more and more money. And unfortunately, post-COVID, uh, earlier India was on rank number three when it came to pornography watching. But right now, I think we have topped the world. Okay, we are the number one in the world when it comes to porn watching. And porn also uh, is a network where some uh, videos are uploaded. So similar to social networks only because they have their own communities, they have their own videos. Uh, photo sharing, video sharing, almost everything, but at the darker side. And uh, what is basically happening is content is required for even pornographic websites. Now, how do these contents uh, get uploaded? They get uploaded because of hidden cameras. They get uploaded by malware, which are sent to your uh, system, to your laptop, to your phones, because you don't know whether your camera is on or off. Now, this is a very famous man. So you never know uh, what exactly is happening, whether your phone, now if I show you my phone, you don't know whether the camera is on or whether the camera is off. How would you tell? There is no way that somebody can tell. So therefore, it is very important for us to know that the teens especially, they are getting very easy access to uh, the pornography. This is what the Child Welfare Committee is also telling. Also, many of them, what they do is the content that they download from the social media, what they are doing is they are uh, downloading it and storing it uh, in apps like these. We call these as the wall taps. Many of them use such wall taps. I request people never to use such wall taps because these apps, what they do is uh, they store your data and also they take a copy of your data and they uh, put it in their cloud. Because if you have visited this website called tos uh, tosdr.org, that is terms of service didn't read because none of us read the terms and service when we uh, press the check uh, check box which says i have read the terms and conditions none of us do it and if you see on facebook which is the most popular social media if you see the point number three there the service can read your private messages number four the service can view your browser history number five deleted content is not deleted and uh, uh, number one it stores your data whether you have an account or not and similar things with amazon also so therefore i request you to please visit this website called tosdr.org so that you can see the social media that you are using how exactly it is taking your data now uh, many of us think that if i send something and now uh, whatsapp has made it two days after two days i delete the data you think it is deleted not at all uh, none of the data that you once you put it in the internet can get deleted because it will be stored somewhere or the other because data is the new oil and if you see the richest of the people right now whether it is elon musk or uh, jeff bezos or uh, any of them um, um your um, bill gates and all these people all are from the data industry because data is the new oil earlier these oil industries were the richest right now these data industries uh, are the uh, richest and also google has paid about 15 billion dollars to apple why just because they wanted the google search engine to be the default browser on all the apple uh, safari browsers okay you can just see how much money they're paying why is why is somebody paying 15 billion dollars just to make it a default search engine because that much value your data is uh, so radhaji is asking uh, where to check the website is called tosdr.org. You can check it over there. Okay. So tosdr.org. Yeah. Okay. Next one is what does Google know about you is another question. So if you can check this later, you will be shocked to see Google knows so much about you, which in fact you don't know about yourself. To give you a simple example, my guru, Sanjay Sahai, sir, always says hacking is the new normal. I asked him, sir, why do you keep saying this? He said, Anand, 95% of the computers or the systems have been hacked or compromised in one way or the other, and 5% don't know that they are hacked or compromised. Now, see, this is a simple um, picture. So there are two film stars. I, I don't know the names probably. But anyways, now, these two film stars, if I ask somebody here, now, Anand Chaudhary is over here. If I ask Ananji, Ananji, uh, whom do you like, the girl in the left or the girl on the right? Okay, now, Ananji may say, 
uh, I, I uh, okay, Deepika, Deepika is on the left, I presume. Okay, so uh, um, so Asima is telling Deepika is good. Now, when Deepika is there on the left, uh, even though Asima has told me, if Asima had not told me, I would have still known that uh, their choice would have been Deepika. Now, how is this possible? This is possible because a research by University of Cambridge, the psychometric center, wherein it's called apply magic sauce. If you give your social media details over there, they know what your choices are. For example, when you go to YouTube, YouTube will tell these are the videos that you like or Amazon will tell these are the products that you may be interested in. Now, how do these companies know what you're interested in? They know your psychological profiles based on your digital footprints. It is fantastic. Okay. So based on your digital footprints, they know what your choices are, what you would select, what would your response be and all that. And also, as uh, Asima Ji has rightly said, search is free. Yes, so you can also check how secure your browser is just by going to this website called Cover Your Track. Dot, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, e uh, EFF.org. So you'll be shocked to see how much of data leakage happens right from your browser. Okay. And also, I told you that. Uh, so we are seeing a lot of people getting these random friend requests from beautiful girls or uh, handsome men, and you accept them. I always tell whenever a male gets a friend request from a beautiful female whom he doesn't know do not accept him okay not her it is him that's why because there is this website called as uh, this person does not exist.com and you can just go there and uh, every time you refresh the page you get a new image coming up of a beautiful girl or a boy or a man you can just download them and the best part is this person does not exist all right. So which means it's a, a GAN generative adversarial network generated AI generated image of a person and this person does not exist at all anywhere in the world. OK, so this is how it is. And these uh, criminals, what they do is they download such images and they create a social media profile and they send you a friend request in the name of uh, uh, Angel Priya and uh, whatnot. And you accept, you fall in love, you send gifts, you give money only to figure out that this person does not exist. OK, and also what they do is they take your photos because these in days you have these uh, phones with high resolution cameras and what we do is we upload our photos high resolution photos so earlier they used to morph the photos now what they do is with your one picture they can create a video of you so we call this as the deep fakes i repeat it's called a uh, deep fakes where people can visit these websites like deep fakes web and uh, they can uh, upload somebody's photo and a video is created and the person would be shocked. Like say, for example, Pushpa. So you have this movie called Pushpa and uh, uh, the Alu Arjun, I think is the hero of that. And uh, I remove Alu Arjun and I put uh, Jagdish Ji as the new hero of uh, Pushpa. So this is how uh, it can be done. So we call this as uh, deep fakes. Okay. So that's why I told uh, whenever you request, uh, get a friend request from a beautiful girl, don't accept him. And for the ladies also, whenever you uh, receive a friend request from a handsome man whom you don't know, again, don't accept him. It may be her also, you never know. But anyways, so the is be very careful videos of uh, uh, unknown people, number one. And uh, number two uh, is there is a day and night difference between the fantasy and uh, uh, reality. So a lot of things happen. Uploading photos, right? We are uploading. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a request. Okay. Please accept photo, my request. Somebody is telling me. Obviously, I will. I don't have to request. I have a page. Data. All you need to do is just send uh, like my page. Anyways, uh, you can contact me on WhatsApp also. I'll share my number later. Now, look at uh, We have uh, this uh, photograph of my. Can somebody tell me where was this taken? Anyone? Can you tell me where was this picture taken? Anyone? Where was this picture taken? Turkey, Agra. Okay, I'm getting different answers. Now, uh, all you need to do is just take the photograph, okay, Vietnam, okay, 
uh, all you need to do is just take the uh, picture and uh, you have to just visit this website called pick2map.com and just uh, upload it on pick2map.com and it will tell you where it was taken. Okay, so it says that this picture was taken at Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque in uh, Abu Dhabi. Okay, so this is how it is. So we have to be very careful when we put photos. Most of our photos, by default, the geotagging is enabled on our devices unless you have explicitly disabled it. And some of the apps you have given permission for uh, geolocation. So, and you have given permission to the apps for uh, photos. So, geotagging is very dangerous. It stores all the details whether the flash was on, which was the camera, when was it taken, whether any software was used to remove the pimple and what not. Okay, so whenever you're sending a photo to somebody, uh, please uh, remove the metadata, the location data and the other data, remove it and send so that the person will not be able to access that. It can be done on Android as well as on iOS, number one. And number two is when sending photos also, I've seen many people uh, sending photos to their respective friends and whatnot. Uh, remember, when you're sending a photo, if at all you're sending it by these unsafe apps, I'm not responsible, okay? So the safer apps, safest apps, you can just see it over here. And accordingly, you can take a call. This is, uh, uh, again, this is not any, um, uh, I, I'm not vouching for it, but then based on the different uh, uh, research reviews that we have seen, you can just follow this, okay? And why also over here it is written, it is not simply a, a cock and bull story, simply I'm putting something as safe and unsafe. So you can just see it here, why exactly it is put as safe, moderately safe uh, and uh, uh, unsafe and safest. All right, and now why did I say this? It's because whenever we are uploading any photos somewhere, the location, the other data of the photo is stored. Of course, when you're sending it on WhatsApp, it strips it off. Okay, even if you've seen the resolution of the photo when you receive on WhatsApp, it is stripped off. So most of the metadata gets stripped off on Facebook, Instagram, Signal, Wire and WhatsApp. But on WhatsApp, if you're sending it as a document or you're using AirDrop or you're using email or you're using iMessage, of course, the metadata is also stored. Be careful. We are standing in our house taking a photo and uploading it. And uh, if it gets into the hands of a pedophile, they know exactly the location, the geolocation where you had clicked that photo. Okay. And also we have seen scenarios because of oversharing on social networks. Simply we put next five days Goa or going to a trip to Leh Ladakh next five days, 10 days. Don't do that because if you put your plans, uh, it becomes easy for robbers to come and stay in your house or rob your house when you are not there. Also, while putting uh, photos of your vehicles on uh, social media, be careful because somebody can just note the number plate and they can go to this uh, app called Car Info and put your number plate information there and get your name, search your name on social searcher and start sending you friend requests on all the social media that you are available on. So be careful uh, while uh, sharing number plates and other details because just uh, by searching three details, you have given me three details of a person that is his name is Jeffrey Broin. He cycles and he's from Netherlands. So based on different, different sites, I can search more than 100 information about that person just by three details, his name, what he does and where is he from. So be careful on social media. And also a lot of our emails get compromised. So you can just go to this website called haveibeenpawn.com, put your email address there and see if your email has been breached or not. If it has been breached, be careful and I'll tell you what to do. But before that, whenever you log into any sites, never log in with your social media accounts, never. Okay, all you have to do is log in with your email address. Which one? Create a new one. Create a new email address exclusively for uh, logging into different different sites. One email address is enough. Create that and log in with that. Don't link it with your social media or your banking and all that. Don't link. You keep this one separate. Don't be lazy to create one email address or to create one account. Okay, and also make sure that if your email has been compromised, please change your password. It has to be minimum 16 characters. It should have uppercase, lowercase, numbers and symbols. It'll take about 1 trillion years for anybody to brute force and attack it. And also enable multi-factor authentication. If you ask me, am I using OTP? 
No, I'm not using OTP for multi-factor. I use an app called as Authenticator by Microsoft. So you can use Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, wherein that OTP, that code, one-time password comes on that app. Because even if you're not having the uh, network some at some place, mobile network, you can still log in because uh, you have internet access. So Wi-Fi is there, you can access internet and you can use that app. And also on all social media, there is something called privacy settings. Go there and check that. Okay. So a lot of our posts will be visible to others, to friends of friends and all that. Limit it. Keep it only to that. And also make sure that your friends visibility is only to you. Let others not know who your friends are. Because what somebody can do is if they want to bad mouth about you, they find out who your friends are and keep sending them those messages and all that. So limit that activities. And as I said that time, remember once posted, always posted and lock your profiles. So there is an option called as profile lock on social media lock your profiles and there is also an option called a security checkup it is there on all the different social medias please do it today itself so when you do a security checkup you can just google how to do security checkup on facebook or instagram so it will tell you where are those loopholes so that you can plug them right away and if you don't find somebody um, comfortable talking to block them and just report them okay you don't have to uh, worry what they will think and all that just block them off and always install an antivirus on your system a lot of different antiviruses are there you can install whichever if you ask me which i use i use norton and uh, always use virtual private network that is vpn if you are traveling and if you are using public wi-fi because what vpn does is it encrypts the data that is sent and received from your device so this is very very important and also when it comes to browser i told you a lot of browsers are there but not all of them are good so you have the brave browser you have the tor browser a lot of other browsers are there you can try using them which are very secure and good and never forget to log off even if it is your own device or even if it is some personal uh, I mean, public device, please log off. I know it is irritating to log in every time, but you never know if you lose your device or if somebody gets access to it, they can check everything. So always log off. It is better. And uh, we have to be very careful about our digital footprints because you never know. Uh, it says a lot of things about you. But nevertheless, always remember any data that you get on social media before you forward it, Use your head intellect because forwarding a message or liking a message or sharing a message is as good as accepting the message and endorsing the message. And most of us are currently having this problem. I told the phantom vibration and ringing syndrome. Similarly, you have the no, no mobile fear. Even if the mobile is not there with us for uh, 10 minutes, we feel uncomfortable. Anybody here? No more. Like FOMO. FOMO is a fear of missing out. There's no, no more fear is there. If mobile is not there, you're feeling uncomfortable. For example, you left the mobile and come out to uh, go somewhere. You're like, oh my God, I've forgotten my mobile. And you go back and you again take a mobile and you come. So no more is there. And also this uh, vibration syndrome. And also sitting a whole day, work from home, no exercise. A lot of people are putting on weight. Neck and neck problem is there. Wherein uh, you know that your neck is four kilo. You're using social media all day bending your neck and seeing so if you bend your neck 60 degree 27 kilo strain on the neck and the neck starts getting painful so we call this as spondylitis and neck and neck syndrome and or different different problems we encounter so always keep the device at a zero degree angle number one and number two is for every 20 minutes of screen time for 20 seconds look 20 feet away do these little exercises to keep yourself uh, um, you know, flexible never look at the screen when it is dark always wear blue cut lens because digital devices emit blue rays which are very harmful to your eyes store this number earlier it was one double five two six zero now the number has changed to one nine three zero which is the national cybercrime helpline number or you can also log on to cybercrime.gov.in and if you think you're wasting a lot of time on social media you can always install anti-social off time onward and quality time these are uh, internet monitoring and filtering programs which will limit your social media screen time and before you post something always remember whether it is true if it is hurtful illegal necessary kind and only then take a call anyways 
Uh, I, as I told, I'm going to share my details. My name is Dr. Anand Prabhu Gurpur. Easier to find me. I've got a blue tick verified profile. So you can like my page on uh, uh, Facebook so that you can get regular updates about uh, the social media crimes, the internet enabled crimes and digital and everything, you know, forensics, if you're interested in. Or you may also uh, visit this portal, which is cybersafegirl.com. Very soon, as I said, the 50 modules version 5 will be out. I request you to please go through this course. It's a free course. Take up, take up that course and uh, understand. Download the ebook. Share it with everybody. Spread the message. Become a cyber warrior. If you have any questions, you're most welcome to ask. And also now, the new age. What is this? This is an NFT, non-fungible token. So a lot of these uh, uh, fungible tokens are there right now. So uh, you can just see them. This is going to be the future. Metaverse, NFTs, blockchains, um, crypto, and all that. Anyway, so I am Dr. Anand Prabhuji. Uh, this is my contact details, and this is my uh, Facebook. So thanks a lot for um, patiently listening to uh, the lecture. If you have any questions for the next five minutes, we can probably take them. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. For your if, you like, the, if you like the session, I request I request all of you to please comment Jai Hind in the comment section.